Hey everybody, Mature Simmer here. So welcome back to the Autism Speaks Charity Classic. Uh, not a terrific round, first round, plus 12. Um, so definitely uh, need far, far better. I mean, at this point, the issue is obviously, even if I played par golf for the rest of the rounds, that's not going to get me a card. Um, and if it does, um, I'm not going to keep a card. So... The play needs to change, and the play needs to change dramatically. I, I think I've got the knowledge. I just now need to bring it together and actually uh, execute and do it, uh, which is obviously the the big challenge in in the golf game and so forth that we're working at. Still the black tees. Wind basically stays the same. Fairways uh, would go back to firm, but now green is just moderate. The green speeds is fast, which was the default. Uh, you know, the challenge ends up being, I'm sure, um, maybe fast as a setting isn't 7.9. I don't, that I have no idea. I don't know if anyone actually knows other than someone who's a developer. But let's just say greens are in essence default. So the only thing really changed from default is, is uh, the green firmness at moderate. Hello there. This is John. I'm very glad to have you here with me. And as we kick off our round, All right. we've got a par four. So, very water-based course, Playa, if you're unfamiliar with Spanish, Playa is beach in Spanish. So, uh, course on a beach, which is pretty darn obvious out to the left. So, uh, as I said in the first round, uh, the name of this course is an actual real location in the Dominican Republic. So, don't know if that was the inspiration, but we're here, and that's its name. And with that, your first tee shot is away, and I hope you have... All right, the slow basically negated the wind, and I end up in my own version of the beach. So, um, all right, back on the pad is the, the, uh, is the pin. So let's see, we're really going to go back 17, but lose some of that, so... It's almost too hard, so I'm gonna go back one club, and we're gonna we're gonna give this a whirl. All right, stick on the green. Okay, with the moderate firmness, we should get even less of a bounce. The firm greens we had first round weren't really bouncing uh, the way I expected. It was a lot more dead deadness when it hit things. I guess the break to the left of me, like behind my feet, it's, so it's like it's a, it's playing with my mind, because if you look at the first bead in front of me, it's pretty slow, but the one behind is like three times as fast. And so it's like playing in the peripheral vision, it's playing with my head where I'm thinking this isn't enough. Uh, it is downhill a bit, so I just want to be careful. Probably not hard enough. Oh god, not even close. So I was too careful. All right, good luck here. That's unfortunate, because now I've got, basically, I've created my own likely bogey here. Yep. <laughs> That's what I needed kind of the first time, and then I would have had a possible shot. But let's not kid ourselves. That is not a simple putt anyway. It's not a double bogey like I did the first round. Um, but again, when what I can say about my round is simply I sucked less, um, that's not winning golf. All right, just really trying to focus on the tempo. Um, you know, that's been the, yep, that's the thing it. folks have driven to me right, between so the last good. event and this one is, is really just get, get that tempo in line. Um, and I understand that and, and have understood that. Um, just didn't really state it clearly before. 
I think I would keep using the word timing, uh, which that to me is what it is. I have to get you know my time in place. All right, uh, we're gonna make it on. We kind of are. Hmm, interesting. Not sure I'm going to like what I have in front of me with that. Alright, break is all to the left. It's just how much to the left. We're basically uphill, and then it seems pretty flat. So basically I need to make it up there, and, and not much more. I don't think it's going to move enough. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. I like to be wrong that way. All right, and e wow, an eagle. I'm just playing. I wasn't even paying attention to what stroke it was. It was like just execute a good good swing each time and do the best, get the best result I can. And wow, that that I can't say I'm not pleased with that. How about that? I'll just by fumbling for words, so I'll just shut up. Okay. I'm, I'm worried it was going to be short, but it really isn't, so I'm glad I did not club up. So. Alright, again, I don't think it's going to move mm -hmm, a ton. I'm second guessing myself again here. Looking pretty good. Uh, alright. Yep. I'll take it, I'll take it. Currently sitting at 10 over par. All right. So, and again, how things go here all I can board. do is focus on it a swing at a time, a swing at a time, right? God, this is... This makes for a challenging approach coming in here. I mean, I'm basically counting on things... You know, again, I tend to swing a little fast, so I'm probably going to pull things a bit. I'm gonna go with this. See what see what we get. Even if I get in the bunkers, at least I'm there. Ah, well, doesn't matter if I do. Oh no, slow it down. Ah, into the water. Really? Really? <laughs> oh, that I feel like I was robbed there. I mean, that was sitting like you'd be able to hit that. That wouldn't be considered a thing it I, I i think i don't know i mean i don't know the full rules of golf on that that's what i needed the first time shoot so good shot definitely Four creating shot. a bit of a problem for me here so same old let's get let's get close Yeah. I mean, we are close, but and this one for both. Kind of needed that to go in, but not going to obviously didn't happen. Okay, good stuff. All right. Well, given given some things back. But again, I Wind is blowing right to left on this hole. So the thing is, like if I hadn't gotten hit with that water penalty, um Anyway, it's in the past. Rafiki hit me over the head with a pole. Doesn't matter. It's in the past. Uh, probably in the bunker. No, maybe we'll hang on. Stay in the rough. You All right. Be real careful with this. It's deep into this rough. Yeah, there's just nothing redeeming about this at all and that pin placement is just dying to get you to screw up i mean that's like temptation of satan shoot for that and you make any error and you're wet um so 30 i gotta go way up here let's see um so if i do that we're basically talking 40-ish, not quite 50-ish, so I'm going to go back one. And that is what I'm going to go with. And we're going to have a shit swing. 
Sorry for the language. And um, okay, let's get on to the green next. We're gonna end up there. And the land of very fast gets you that. I'm going to putt this just because. Do a little extra power because we're on the fringe. Oh, man. Nice putt. All right. Too much work to save that one. we go. Par 5 coming up. Okay. A lot of wind. So I'm going to put this over here. Sweet. Other than the swing plane. I think we'll be clear of the bunker unless we get a really crappy bounce. We did not. Okay. Second shot on Actually the happy to not be stuck in the rough. Okay. That is too much. This is probably still too much, but we're going to do it. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but again, um, I mean, we do have a little bit of, of not perfect lie, because you can see we're 96, 97. So um, I think this is still going to be a decent decision. Otherwise, if I made it and I knew it was a bad decision, would that make me insane? Probably. Am I? Uh, it looks like you're Maybe a bit. Eagle from here. I don't know. That's not bad um, here we go. 24 feet away. 24 feet away. Not a ton of break. Uphill. Maybe, maybe. Oh, how nice does that feel? Dropping on in there for the eagle. Both par fives as eagles. Over. Wow. I know for certain that is a first in my golfing. Um, hmm, it's mainly a cross breeze, so I'm going to take this. But I am going to actually go a little further over, because, again, it is going to move me. Okay, decent, and I, yeah, we'll hit the edge. Let's see. I'd rather have a little bit longer shot. Well, Let's I wish that. it had bounced a little differently. Okay, here's our second shot on the seventh. Okay, this again, this is Satan's pin placement. Um, looking at basically, uh, not really 20. Because that's, the, again, the danger. If I say it's 20, that gets me to 79. So I really kind of need this, because this is going to be, say, 15. That's going to put me at 73. The wind may or may not do something. But, God, if it puts me at 73, and I get it just slightly wrong, I'm in the water. Oh my god, what do I do with this one? Alright, so I think I'm going to do this and adjust it back. So, hopefully I'm right. Swing is what it needs to be. We're on, yeah. It would have been really nerve-wracking right, the other the way. Long, long I think at this point it's better to right, be here down, than to here. be in the water. Um, a lot more movement to the left, so I'm going to go this way. Ugh, terrible swing path at the end there. Just kind of letting it roll at this point for the drama. But Good luck here. This is for par. We'll take it. All right, let's head to the next. I mean, at this point, I, I would settle for not par. throwing any things right, away anymore. Um, so I'm not board. trying to be a hero. I need to be a hero to get a tour card. But if it happens, it happens. That's kind of what I I think where I need it to be in my headspace. I need to stop trying to play beyond my ability. Um, 
and just let things go and you know maybe things will come together the way they need to because that's because this stuff happens um when i start doing that whoopsie you uh yeah you actually ended up in the heck of a roll i'll tell you that wow all right oh yeah yeah all right that's a long drop off that's 16 percent so it pretty much makes it pointless because it's only 20 some yards so let's do this and see where we end up and Ooh, a little awkward on the swing there yikes look out at least it bounced the right way jesus all right, I think I can actually go here, and let's see. Because that will be basically 27 back, so that will be 70. Um, yeah, this, this should be okay here. Okay, solid, Come on, give us solid a shot and power and all of that, but... Long, long pot here. Well done. That's a luck on this one. All right. A lot of real estate to cover. Not a lot of movement, I don't think. I'm not going to try to guess about it. Might be a little too hard. Oh, this one could drop. Come on! Oh. Four feet left. Okay, bogey pot has dropped. Shoot. I've already done what I was hoping to avoid. Wind's blowing from our backs on this one. All right. Those are always helpful. Well, not in this case, because that will put it in the water. So we're just absolutely going to stick with three wood. And... Good off the tee. Good swing path, good uh, this one's around timing. Yards out. That may be where it was confusing people, because timing, I think that is what the little pendulum across the top is is technically called in TGC, or in TGC and PGA Tour 2K23 is timing. So it's uh, swing path and timing. Um, so when I say timing, it, people weren't translating that to tempo, and so now I do understand some of the confusion I was causing. All right, the nine is going to drive me past the hole, is what I'm looking at. But that is a big, big gap between. It's 14, but you know what? With the nine going forward, if I do nothing, this may actually roll out. I mean, it only has a moderate. Either way, I'm ending up on this side of the pin, which is better than overdriving it. Carrying the water is the most important thing. We did that. Safely on the green. But getting a birdie will be a tall order here. Um, this is a big and it's a big and downhill too. So I'm letting gravity do some of the work. We'll see if it's enough. I think it is. Uh, no. Little short, but once feet. again, it, it sets me up well, this so I'm right. certainly not going to cry about it. Because right. I I do think I beat myself uh, in the in the past with with how I was putting before, um, that I'd end up 10, 15, 20 feet past the hole. Um, and, and it would always be a challenging putt. And, you know, luckily I was decent enough that I'd, I'd make a good percentage of them, but I think it was still well below 50%. So if I get myself there and make it, you know, pretty much a gimme putt, you know, per the term, again, with my skill deficiency, two feet might be a gimme putt for me, where, you know, I think for a decent golfer, you can probably expand that to at least five, if not... Yeah, 10 feet's probably a stretch, but 5 to 7 feet, let's say. Um, but I still miss some of those. Hmm, the slow's pulling me too far over. Uh, Alright, finally. Okay. 
Finally, we get a roll that doesn't just keep going. Again, nine. <laughs> Pull it back a tiny bit and try to slow it because we basically have what I would call the dump zone on the left where the green, you, if I go roll past the pin there, I'm I'm off the fair off the off the green. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Got to compensate for the lie. Semi decent. A little too far to the left or to the right, but we're on. Wow, that just All right, here died. We go. I mean, I did put a backspin on it, but my goodness. <laughs> it's my Price is Right theme. Not what I meant to do, but that's what it sounded like to my ears when I hummed. Too soft. Damn it. I was being too careful. Well, it worked out okay, actually. All right, here's a five-foot putt. All right, a little bit of movement, so I'm not going to ignore it because we are going Good. light. It did About come back, eight. basically brought me back to the middle of the cup. And currently sitting at 10 over par. And the headwind is definitely a thing on this hole. All right, well, we're going to assume it's a real thing. I did the same crap on this hole before. Alright, it's not enough of a deficiency, so I'm going to leave it. Because I need some distance. This is insanity. I was hoping I'd get a bounce out, but no such cigar. Basically 39, so we're at like 100. Again, 45, 105. Wow. It's like, how far do I want to go? And then I've got to compensate for the wind, so we're going to go for that. Okay, well, struck. Eh, a little too far. Eh, a lot too far. <laughs> smart, smart shot. Back in the fairway. Now we... Uh... Now we got a shot. We do, but man, this is misery. All right. I need a good I need good timing on my chip is what I need. There we go. Cuz that nice will Fantastic. give me that shot, but Okay, let's That hurts. But again, I had a crap tee shot go, let's stick this one nice and, and you have a you know you have a crap tee shot on something like this like you know let's say i hit it 90 yards you know i i get i've got a shot but with what i was doing not really all right i was definitely in my head on that i was like so worried i was gonna screw up the swing because of what i was seeing with the water i was just so freaked out with it it's downhill over there so i definitely need this to just stick sweet coming through with the chip this one's for par so I guess I, I hadn't talked about this. Um, I had someone recommend um, uh, Gentleman Fairway to Heaven. Um, and I'll tell you, um, you know, we've all heard the term small but mighty. Um, dude's got six videos total on his channel. Uh, everyone's a gem. Um, so definitely helped and one of the things um, because they basically gave what they called their secrets to each part part of the game um, you know they're short little things they're they're all under 10 minutes they're like six seven minutes long and they cover five or six points so I mean it's definitely like machine gunning information at you which is which is fine but the one thing I had never thought of and, and had never done is on chips he's like both of them, loft and 
uh, and uh, the uh, backspin all the way to the bottom every time, pretty much. Um, and so I, I played several practice rounds with that, and um, you can see what the results are. It, you know, because his point is, yeah, it you're not going to have the rollout. You might not, you know, get as many chips to fall in. But your goal is to guarantee that the next that your putt is going in on the next next hit, and that you're not two putting up on the green all the time. And so if you avoid that rollout, and so he actually does a bunch of shows where hey, the ball lands six yards each time, but you know with the backspin it it goes maybe a yard or two, and without it 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 went like ten. Um, and again, you know another sixteen feet or something. That's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, I was worried about the slow. I think I'm going to be okay. I was like, I do fast. Oh, don't go into... Well, all right. That's fine. I thought it was more a crater, which doesn't really matter what it is behind me. Um, all right. I think because of the percent drop-off here... I'm going to chance it and just hit it. You know what? I'm going to put the backspin on, but I'm not going to do the loft. All right. I'm up. Mm, I could have okay. I could have just left it, I think. Would have gotten me a little closer, but that's all right. Maybe, maybe. One. Thank you. Wow, amazing. All right. So, so my thoughts, and again, people can and can comment. This hole, we got a tailwind blowing. I get them wrestling the with ball. the fact that my swing is not pure by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it's it's probably such muddy water that you can't even like using the word pure is blasphemous. Um, I'm so far away from it. I get that. Um, so uh, the one school of thought might be it's insanity for me to basically aim as if it's not, which is kind of what I did on that last hole. But the problem is I, I'm between fast and slow relatively equally. So it's it's hard to then predict like oh i'm i'm going to hit a fast this time because i always hit a fast you know um but yet compensating for the lack of pure swing to the point that i'm afraid to take the shot that you need to take to give yourself a chance also seems like the wrong call all right, so now we're into some of the holes along the water, but <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be my best shot here. Cause this hole's definitely one of the more challenging ones because it's, I mean, it's really surrounded everywhere by water. I mean, this is probably the safest, uh, the safest pin placement. Um, of any of the options we have. Uh, very fast doesn't help again. Nice chip. But again, what I've found is setting those, the loft and the spin both down, this putt's going. it kind of seems to compensate oh, for pretty much nice everything. Done. So uh, it's rare. I mean, there are times you do a very slow, and then you know you end up really, really short or something. Um, you know, but that's again, that's on me. Like I need to execute better in that case. Ah, uh, speaking of executing better, setting up for our third shot. That's a total unforced error. Oh my god. Oh, oh, thank god. All right. For all of that, I'll honestly take that. I'll take that every day of the week. Hmm. 
Mm, thread the needle. Really didn't want to be in the trees, but terrible shot kind of creates that that issue. All right, so be back at least ten. I'm gonna just stick with this. I do not want to hit it too far. Okay. So yeah. Club up would have been disaster beyond club. that. Man. Nah, it's gonna keep going to the right. Eight feet to the cup. Looking good. Okay. And in the hole. Solid putt for that distance, but eh, that hurt. Basically, I've played my way back to even for this round. Sad. It's the tracks of my tears. Can you see them? This one's about... 195 out. Okay. Might be a little short, but again, I do not want to overdrive into the canopy back there. Well, hitting the front of that hill, definitely going to be short, but it's all right. All right, let's get a birdie and get out of here. What do you say? I would say that would be nice, but I would say at 49 feet, that's going to be a pretty damn tall order. A ah, little too too janky of a swing there. Well, that's going right by the hole, isn't but it? Did our okay on the pace. Go. Again, I'm going to compensate a bit for the... The slight bead, but not a ton. All right. Good job. Dangerously close to the edge, but it worked. And teeing up now on the 17th. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Ouch, that's a shame. Okay, we are in the deep stuff. Not executing. This is not how you do okay. Definitely not with that either. I don't understand. I don't get, like, I don't know where my timing goes, where my tempo goes. But it goes, clearly. Um, yeesh. Alright, I'm probably better maybe doing a bit with a loft on the four than trying to fix it with the five. Like, I should not be able to overdrive into the water with the four iron. I mean, I can if I, like, really added things to it, but... All right. Solid swing. All right. And got a little bit of nice roll. That's green. what I wanted. And this one for the car. But... A lot of work for a par. It's downhill, so I'm being a little bit, a little bit uh, conservative. The read I wasn't sure on, but it worked because um, it looked like you saw I moved it just a smidge to the left because it looked like there would be more of a break to the right than anything else. Um, again, the three wood I think is going to be way too much. It is, so we're just going to stick with this. Eh, a little too far on the fast, but we have enough space to save me from myself there. Okay, you're on the green and you're putting. That's a good thing. This putt is for birdie. Mm -hmm. right. I think it's a little bit over there. That is what I'm going to go with. Yes. 
kind of in the right direction, but a little too conservative, and I, I don't think it would have stayed. All right, I'm going to go a little past the edge of the cup. Oh, no! I hit it too hard. I hit it too hard. I basically took all the brake out. Oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. So I end up plus one after all that because of dumbness. I could have had a par. Hmm. I am... All right. I mean, certainly a better result than the first round, but that's, uh, you know, not saying much. We're kind of in that position of there's nowhere to go but up, which is obviously completely a lie, because I'm sure I could shoot a plus 40 um, pretty easily. So, anyway, um, we are here. Done with two, as always. If you've enjoyed this, but haven't dropped a like or are not a subscriber, please consider those things that greatly help a channel like myself. And I will see you next time.